So we better start just with a quick explanation of the files that I'm about to show you. So I've got three auto hotkey scripts here. The first one is a little, um, just a little script to tell you what version of auto hotkey you have. If I just edit that script, you can see it's very simple. It's just that one line that I put in there and that works by just double clicking it. And it tells me what auto hockey version I've got. So you can see here, I've used 1.33.10. It can affect whether or not the script will work, the version that you're using. So if you're using something more modern than that, I believe already from Jesus Prieto in the RWS community that um, this, would, this script would actually fail on version two. I haven't checked that to find out why or anything like that. I've just run this version for years and it does what I need, so I haven't changed it. So the other scripts I've got was one that I had um, that worked for me, but didn't work for another user until I until I figured out with the help of ChatGPT how to solve the uh, problem of different resolutions, different screens, that type of thing. So it didn't matter what screen it was on because I also, when I tried it, found that it only worked on my external monitor, but didn't work on my main on my on my laptop alone. Um, so then I had a second version. So that's what the second version is. And the second version is the one that I'm showing you here. And that's what I've got to run it. Well, let me just show you first of all, so you can see that, see what it is. Although it's the same as the one that's in the, uh, in the blog article. So here's the script. So it looks like this. So it got longer and longer when it was going along. Makes me feel pretty clever, even though I didn't write it myself. So there's a feel good factor here as well. And you should give that a go. So I'll close that. The way to run it is I can double click it or I can include it in some other script I've got somewhere and that will bring it up down the bottom of your, your screen in the system tray, which I've conveniently cut off um, from recording this video. Uh, so not, not, but not to worry, it is there. Once that's running, I'll be able to, to run that script by using control alt H, which was, which you can see in the, in the code that's, uh, that's available in the blog article. That's my hotkey. So I'm going to come over to Studio. Studio, you can see I've got, uh, these are the files I was talking about that were generated for me by the AI. I've got the French version and the English version. And then what I also have is, if I come back here, I have my settings file. My settings file tells me where it can find all of these replacement files. Um, actually, in actual fact, this is slightly different because this is referring to another place where they are on my computer. It is correct, but I'll just show you how easy it is to change it. So if I was to not put them in here and take the ones that I've got here instead. So I've got four different um, different paths that I created, different files that I created with search and replace terms. So I'll take that one and paste the path of that one in. I'll take that one, paste that one in. I'll take that one, paste that one in. And I'll take that one and place that one in and save it. So it's as simple as that. That's all you're going to do. That's my settings file. The replacement files, I'll show you the one I'm going to use for this demonstration. They just look like this, where what I've actually got is, you can see I've got the source term, a tab character, which I can't highlight, but it's there anyway, and the replacement term. I don't know how big this could actually be. I haven't tried it with huge files but I've no doubt somebody will at some point and then I'll find out. Um, but that's all it is. So it's a row by row, the search term, a tab character, and then the target term. And that, the tab character is just placed in case you didn't know by pressing the tab key. I'm just having to be displaying them in here so you can see, we'll see what they look like. Okay, so I won't save that one. One thing I do need to do, and I'll just mention that to you as well, is if I open that, back up again. The one thing you do need to know is change the hard-coded location, which is here. So I think it's in row seven, I think, or something. Let me just move this up a little bit. Row nine, I can see down here. So it's in row nine, loop, read, and then this is a hard-coded path to wherever, wherever you decide to put that setting script. It can be wherever you like. And that's it. So then you double click the script to run it. Come over to Studio. I'm just going to press Control H to bring up the search and replace box. And then I'm going to click on Control Alt H, which triggers the script. This brings up this little um, drop down box. 
it's not the prettiest thing but it's functional there's my list of scripts that it's calling and you can see it's nicely stripped out the name and the pass so it just gives you the numbers uh, sorry the actual text um, I'll, I'll select this one AI replacements and then to initiate the find and replace I just close it I could have added a button that says run and all the rest of the things to make it fancy but this is for my own use and, and this is the beauty of it you will know how to use it so you write it and add as many bells and whistles in as you like for me as soon as I click that close button it's going to run it so I close the window it's then going to run through and start making the search and replaces and you can see in studio those confirmed segments are changing to draft status everywhere it's changing things and, um, and if you're able to spot it you'll be able to see that things are changing as we're working along and when it's finished it brings up this the search and replace operation is complete and it's done and you can see now I've changed it so I've got robotization in, robotization in there um, I've got machine intelligence which is there I think that was something that was different in there um, essentially I've just changed a whole bunch of things that were in that list and it's gone through and done that all automatically so that's pretty cool and it's as simple as that so that's all you're going to do I hope that was helpful I hope you find it um, exciting and intriguing enough to make you want to write your own script you should certainly have a go ChatGPT is going to turn you into a superhero <laughs>